Hello and welcome to our video on how you can leverage digital business listings to attract travelers through search and beyond. Travel Oregon is pleased to provide this training to our industry partners to help them get more out of their online presence. The content in this presentation was provided by the team at Miles Partnership. Today we'll begin by looking at the top planning platforms where your business can be found by today's travelers. Next, you've heard a lot about generative AI lately, and we'll talk about how it's being used in travel and how you can participate. To get you started, we'll review the first steps in claiming your business listing on the primary platforms. We'll wrap up by sharing some free tools and resources provided by Travel Oregon, and then key takeaways from our presentation. Let's start by looking at today's top travel planning platforms. As business owners, marketing and advertising to create demand is only half the equation. To bring customers into our business, we need to inspire confidence that we will provide great products and services. This is where our digital presence on the major platforms becomes critical. Travelers are consuming a lot of online content during the travel discovery phase from many different sources. Let's take a look. When deciding where to travel, there's quite a few online resources to choose from. Travelers often start with search to find websites or with social media. Online travel agencies and review sites help compare options and prices. In addition to review sites, forums and blogs offer real world perspectives. Generative AI has now also been added to the mix of sources to get travel ideas. Businesses such as lodging, restaurants, and attractions have an opportunity to have a presence or be featured across all of these channels. Together, these resources impact whether a traveler is inspired to choose our destination or our business. A recent consumer study asked travelers which online resources they have used to plan travel in the last 12 months. Online content from websites and blogs, mapping sites, and review sites were all at the top of the list. Let's start with search. It's the foundational step in travel planning for most consumers. It goes without saying that Google is the top search platform on the internet. In fact, it is the number one site in the United States by traffic. Google's success is based on its complex algorithms, which prioritize user experience and quality content. In addition to its own platform, Google is the default search engine on most Apple devices, and 63% of searches in the U.S. are happening on a mobile device. Google offers both mapping services and free business listings to help consumers discover your business. But let's not forget about Bing. 7% of the U.S. searches on desktop are happening on the Bing platform. And in fact, nearly half of the U.S. uses Bing at some point, though they may not be Bing-only users. The Bing search engine platform is the default for Microsoft Edge and on Windows 10 and 11, making it frequently used by those who do not change their defaults. Bing users have a higher household income and tend to spend 35% more on average than Google users. Much like Google, Bing offers both mapping services and free business listings. Bing is an excellent example of where we see overlap between the major sources of travel planning information. Doing a search for things to do in Florence, Oregon, we can see where Bing integrates TripAdvisor reviews and photos for attractions into the locations featured in the search results. Bing also has a dedicated travel section where consumers can explore destinations. These destination pages are also featuring content from TripAdvisor. When a Bing user searches for a specific business or location, they are going to see a page that is a combination of a Bing business profile and information from other sources. As a business owner, it's important to make sure that you claim your free Bing business listing. In addition to content you maintain about your business, you can expect to see review content and photography from other sites such as Facebook and TripAdvisor. 
If we look at the same things to do search results in Google, we will also see top attractions highlighted. The content in these listings is pulling 100% from Google Business Profiles and not other online sources. When we look at mobile search results, there's even more content to explore. When we do a things to do search on Google, particularly on mobile, the results look quite a bit different than they did just a few years ago. Search results are much more visual. We are seeing fewer blue links and copy and more immersive content heavy on photography and video. Top sites are featured at the very top of the page along with a map. These often include attractions sorted by category, such as outdoor attractions and museums. A recent addition is the discussions and forums section where travel threads from TripAdvisor, Reddit, and others highlight opinions and suggestions from other travelers. Here are some tips for ranking in Google's top sites if you are an attraction. First and foremost, go through the verification process to prove that you are the owner of the listing so that you have full control of its content. You want to make sure that your profile is complete with business information such as hours and that you're keeping it up to date on a regular basis. You'll also really want to engage with your customers. Ask your customers to leave feedback. Ratings and reviews are an important ranking factor on Google. Let's take a closer look at mapping. 25% of travelers use mapping sites to plan their trip and 55.8 say that they always or frequently use Google Maps when researching things to do for a leisure trip. Whether a small destination or a major metro, every city on Google Maps has a dedicated page. Within that page, there are easy access links to things like restaurants, gas stations, parks, and attractions. Larger markets will have dedicated sections for hotels or iconic attractions in the area. User-generated content is also featured on these pages. We can scroll through and see the latest customer photos and reviews for local businesses. If you are a business owner, each of these is an opportunity for a new customer to check out your business through your Google Business Profile. Since Google is not pulling your business content from other sources, all you need to do to keep your business information up to date on Google is claim and manage your Google business profile. Don't overlook the importance of Apple Maps. Yes, Google is the number one navigation app in the U.S. by downloads and usage. However, many Apple users still rely on Apple Maps. Whether they're just diehard Apple fans or prefer the ability to sync up all their Apple devices, iOS users are going to Apple Maps. It is estimated that between 54 and 57 percent of iOS users in the U.S. are using Apple Maps on a monthly basis. Here are some things you should know about Apple Maps. Apple does not have its own review platform and instead is pulling customer feedback from a variety of sources, including Yelp, TripAdvisor, and Booking.com. Much like Google Maps, Apple users can contribute images and suggest edits to business information that may be missing or incorrect, such as hours. Your business or attraction could be featured in an Apple Maps guide. Apple Maps guides are published by trusted brands like All Trails, Atlas Obscura, and Lonely Planet to recommend some of the most unique things to see, do, and eat in a market. Apple will feature popular guides in the Guides We Love section. Here's an example of a mountain biking guide from Fat Map for the Western US that features Monarch Mountain in Oregon as one of the top locations with a mountain biking shuttle run. Review sites are another top platform for travel planning. An Expedia Group survey found that travelers rely on a mix of online and offline resources, but 49% are using travel blogs and online review sites for trip inf inspiration. According to the most recent Bright Local Consumer Review Survey, Google is the most popular review site by a good margin. Consumers are also evaluating local businesses using Facebook, Yelp, and TripAdvisor. 
Research shows that consumers look at an average of two or three review sites before deciding to work with a business. While Facebook is primarily a social media platform where people connect with friends and family, it is also the second most popular source for consumers to get insight from other customers about businesses that they are considering. Because of this, creating and optimizing your Facebook business page presents a great opportunity to gain more business from local visitors. Bing uses Facebook reviews for its local search results, which extends the reach of Facebook customer feedback. Users can rate your business and leave written feedback on your Facebook business page. Unlike many other review platforms, Facebook directly asks users whether they recommend your company. Based on that input, Facebook calculates a business's recommendation rating on a five-star basis that is specific to Facebook. Yelp is particularly relevant for restaurants because they make up the most reviews on the Yelp platform. 45% of consumers say they will likely check Yelp reviews before visiting a location. Yahoo, the third largest search engine in the US, uses Yelp as the source of its local business listings in search results. In addition, Apple Maps will sometimes feature Yelp reviews in its listings. TripAdvisor is the number one travel specific website in the US by traffic. It is popular with consumers because it is known for log form reviews that provide extensive helpful detail to other travelers. TripAdvisor operates in 40 countries and 20 languages. As a result, they are responsible for more than 22 million tourist trips each year. TripAdvisor has its own five bubble rating system for tourism businesses, and your TripAdvisor rating is also going to feed into platforms such as Bing, Apple Maps, and DuckDuckGo, as well as other travel-specific websites that are using the TripAdvisor API. As a business owner, you can see how maintaining your presence on each of these platforms will help increase your visibility and access to more potential customers. From a customer standpoint, with so many resources, how are travelers shifting through all this data to help make decisions? That's where AI has become an important part of the story. Let's take a look at how AI is influencing travel planning. AI itself is nothing new. We've been using it in everyday applications such as autocomplete, spell check, and spam filters for years. Up until recently, AI was predominantly pattern recognition. Today, generative AI is different because it is able to create new content and answer questions, opening the door for new applications of this technology in travel. Here are three ways that AI is influencing travel planning and discovery for consumers. The first is search integration, with Google and Bing answering some search queries with generative AI overviews. Search engines, review sites, and OTAs are also using chatbots and AI assistants to help travelers create itineraries and start the booking process. Sites like TripAdvisor, Yelp, and Google are also using AI to summarize the highlights of reviews and business information for specific businesses. There are also dozens of startup companies in the travel space that are experimenting with leveraging generative AI to help simplify the travel research and booking process. In a recent travel perk survey, 22% or over a fifth of global travelers have used ChatGPT or similar AI chatbots to help plan a recent trip. Here's an example from ChatGPT from someone who is looking for the best places to visit in Oregon for people who love nature and are interested in guided hikes and nature tours. The latest version of ChatGPT, GPT 4.0, is available to everyone for free right now. Unlike earlier versions that were looking at older data, the new version can look up information in real time. One of the really interesting features of travel planning with ChatGPT and other generative platforms is the ability to ask follow-up questions. So here we are now asking whether any of these places are close to towns or cities that are known for their food scene. 
we're seeing individual restaurants featured in these results. Having a robust online presence across multiple platforms is important to being visible in AI-generated recommendations. TripAdvisor is leveraging its deep content base to create custom trips using AI. Users can select their trip dates, length of stay, and various interests, and TripAdvisor uses OpenAI's technology to build a recommended itinerary. These itineraries typically feature businesses who have a lot of great reviews and a robust TripAdvisor listing with good photos and current content. Review sites are using generative AI to create business and review summaries. TripAdvisor launched a review summary feature that's based on recent hotel reviews. Several keywords related to location, service, and more are called out, and a paragraph highlights things that are most often mentioned in a review for that property. iPhone users may notice business summaries, short segments that highlight what the business is most known for. These are AI generated from Yelp content. AI tools are also being integrated into search results and OTA sites. Here's a good example. When asked for the best places for outdoor recreation in Oregon, Bing's co-pilot cited 20 sites, including Travel Oregon, Bing, and TripAdvisor in its recommendation. Copilot also provided a list of Bing places that align with the prompt. This is a new way for your Bing business profile becoming visible to potential customers. Not surprisingly, Google is using generative AI to answer search queries, but this is all still very new. What Google calls search generative experience is clearly labeled as experimental, but is likely here to stay. You can expect to see an AI overview occasionally pop up at the top of search results when doing a travel related query, particularly for requests for an itinerary or to find out what an area is most known for. Search engine optimization experts are keeping an eye on this technology, but so far results are mixed. So what are some of the best practices you can follow as a business owner to get the most out of working with AI? First and foremost is consistency, making sure that you are managing your business information across multiple platforms and keeping it consistent across the internet. Also, encourage customer reviews and feedback across multiple platforms, not just Google. It's clear that businesses that have a high quantity and quality of reviews are showing up more frequently in AI-based recommendations. These features are all very new and in most cases in beta phase. It's a good best practice to check out some of these platforms to see what's new and how your business is showing up. I want to wrap up by covering the critical first step to get started. As a business owner, the most important thing you can do is make sure you have claimed ownership of your business on each of the major travel planning platforms. Across all platforms, you'll begin by finding or adding your business. It's possible that your business already has a listing on the platform that was added by a customer. Do a quick search to see if you can locate your business. The next step is to claim and verify your ownership of the business. Verification methods will vary by platform, but you need to prove that you are a rightful representative of the organization. Once you have management access of your business profile, you want to keep it fresh by adding new photos periodically and making sure that information is accurate, especially your business hours. You'll want to use Google Maps to claim and verify your business profile on Google. Visit google.com maps or use the Google Maps app to get started. Use the search field to find your business and look for the icon that says claim this business. Clicking on this will initiate the verification process. The most common ways to verify a business on Google are via phone, email, or postcard, although video verification is becoming more common. Once you have verified your business, you will be able to make edits using the Business Profile Manager, which is accessible through the Apps menu. Verification unlocks the ability to use special features such as adding products and sharing update posts. To claim your business on Bing, you'll want to visit bingplaces.com. 
If you have a verified Google listing, you can sign in using your Google account. This will allow you to import your Google business profile into Bing. Otherwise, you can verify by phone, email, website, or mail. Once verified, you can use Bing Places for Business to make sure that your information is consistent and up to date. Bing has fewer special features than Google, but does have the ability to do things such as add offers or announcements. To get started on Yelp, you'll want to visit business.yelp.com and click on Verify My Free Listing. This will allow you to search for your business or add it to Yelp. You'll need to create a Yelp account to verify your business. Yelp verification takes place via phone call or text to the number listed for the business. Yelp is particularly important for restaurants and shops. Together, they make up 36% of all Yelp reviews. You can use Yelp for Business to manage your listing and respond to customer reviews. Be aware that unlike Google and Bing, some features on Yelp are only available through a paid upgrade. On Apple, you will first have to have an Apple ID to claim and manage the profile. Next, visit businessconnect.apple.com to locate your listing or create one. Apple verification is done via phone. If you cannot be reached at the number for the business, you will need to upload an official document that shows the business name and address. The Apple platform does not offer many special features beyond updating core information. However, the showcase feature will allow you to highlight an offer and include a call to action. For TripAdvisor, you'll want to go to tripadvisor.com owners to locate your business. Select list it now if the business is not found. You must have an individual identity on TripAdvisor to claim a business and multiple people can request access for the same business. Verification on TripAdvisor is done by phone or you can enter a personal credit card number that will not be charged. Note that businesses must be tourism specific to qualify to be listed on TripAdvisor, so check TripAdvisor's guidelines before adding your business. The TripAdvisor Management Center will allow you to respond to customer reviews and keep your information up to date. You can also order free promotional items to help encourage TripAdvisor reviews from your customers. I wanted to wrap up today by letting you know about some free tools and resources available to you through Travel Oregon. Keeping your business presence current across multiple platforms can be a lot to manage, but Travel Oregon offers access to a helpful tool. Local is an Oregon-based company that offers a solution to manage and maximize your Google business profile and other listings. It's free for tours and businesses. Local makes it easy to track and respond to reviews, make updates, and evaluate performance data. If you have questions or need assistance with claiming your business profile across any of these platforms, we have a solution. You can meet with a digital listings expert for free through Travel Oregon. Just use this Calendly link to book a time that's convenient for you. Travel Oregon has also published a business listings toolkit for more tools and training content. You can find it at industry.traveloregon.com slash listings. Thanks for joining us to learn more about how to attract travelers online with your digital presence. Travelers today are consuming a lot of content during the travel discovery process. Search engines, review sites, mapping sites, and AI tools are all important resources for travel planning. As a business owner, you should focus on making sure that you are present and accurate on the major travel planning platforms. The first step is to verify ownership of your business listings and keep your most important information up to date and consistent. Save yourself time by getting your questions answered and utilizing the free tools and training resources available to you through Travel Oregon. Thanks for joining us and have a great day.